Hi everyone, I'm Federica and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will talk about amenorrhea. I will tell you why I lost my period and how I got it back. I'm not a doctor and this is a pretty delicate topic. So my only goal here is to share my experience. If you're struggling with this problem, please go to your doctor and get a visit because we are all different and our bodies are different. So maybe some girls are experiencing the same thing that I experienced but for other people it can be different. When I went through that problem, for sure I would have loved to hear from someone who already experienced it and who found a way to cure it. So for sure this video might be helpful in this case, but otherwise please don't take this video as a professional source of information because I'm not a doctor. With all of that said, before we start, I ask you to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss the next videos and to support me with a thumb up. The term amenorrhea refers to the loss of the period that can happen for many reasons. Usually for dancers it happens because of stress, because of overwork or because probably sometimes we don't eat enough. I have the feeling that nobody is talking about this topic but it's really important and I feel like we should all be more open about it because period is something normal that we all the girls experience in their life so uh, I feel like that we should not be ashamed of sharing our problems and of asking people to help if something happens. I had my first period when I was 14 so it was pretty late but it was anyway fine and it was normal until the age of 18. I started studying ballet when I was 4 so and I never stopped so for sure it was not something strictly connected to dancing uh, because now I'm dancing too and I have my period so uh, the fact that I lost it was connected with a problem I was experiencing in a period of my life basically what happened is that I started uh, counting my calories I downloaded an app which I really recommend you not to do and I was basically weighting every single food I was eating and in the beginning it was just because I wanted to have more control on my life because I, I was starting my career as a professional dancer and I had the feeling that I really needed to have my body under my control. The problem is that when you download those apps and you start calculating your calories and your macros, it really becomes an obsession. And of course, this is not a, just a problem about your period, it's also a problem for your mental health because you really cannot enjoy any more food it just becomes numbers, it doesn't become any more enjoyment of a pleasure of taste or sharing moments with people around you and with friends. So I please ask you never, never do that because it really ruined my mental health and my period as well and my physical health and my body as well. I want to mention that also to tell you that if you eat intuitively and a pretty balanced diet, if you know where carbs, where proteins, where fats are, you really don't need to count every single gram of what you eat if you want to be sure that you are eating healthy. Because if we eat a big variety of food, we are 100% sure that we get all the nutrients we need. Once I started calculating my calories and macros, I had the feeling that I could every day I could like go less and less with calories and that was a really big problem because I was already dancing, I was dancing a lot and usually amenorrhea can appear when the calories intake is lower than the calories we burn. Uh, so of course that means that we lose weight and that was the main thing that caused me amenorrhea. I don't want to give you here numbers about my weight but I lost I think 5 or 6 kilograms uh, which was a lot considering that I was already skinny and then the period stopped but for the first I think two or three months I did not even notice that because I was dancing and I was even quite happy <laughs> of not having my period anymore because you know when you're dancing and you always have your leotards and your tights or a tutu or you have to perform usually the period is quite disturbing you you're dancing and it can be really a problem but of course we should be just worried if the period misses because it means that there is something wrong going on in, in our body you might also think yeah this good because i'm saving money or i don't have any pain i don't feel bloated but period is normal and we have to have it in order to be healthy and it also works for dancers as well uh, so in the beginning I was quite happy that I didn't have it anymore uh, but then after a while I realized that it was a problem especially because I was seeing myself kind of getting, getting back I was coming back as a kid 
uh, I was losing weight uh, and when you miss your period it's really really dangerous because our period guarantees us the strength of our bones and it is so important for our health uh, in general for women it's very important to have our period for many reasons even if you're not planning to have kids in the future if you miss it it means that there is something wrong with your body and it's not normal uh, so once I realized that there was something wrong, of course, I went to many doctors uh, asking like if I could check if everything was fine and everything was okay. But I told them like I cannot gain weight because this is my body, I'm a ballet dancer, I'm a professional dancer, so I cannot gain weight because that could ruin my career. That was my mentality in that period of time. What I did in the beginning was trying to take the pill. But I don't know if you know girls, but the pill doesn't give you a real period. That's just a fake period. That's for sure, that's not the solution. Then I realized that the only way for me to get back my health was to gain weight. To finally uh, stop thinking about controlling everything and just to try to be the healthiest version of myself. The first step that helped me solving this problem was deleting the app that I used to count calories. Once I removed that from my phone, I already felt like freedom in my mind because I could enjoy food again. I did not have any problems in going out to the restaurants, not knowing how many calories that pizza or burger was. And so already I started to feel much better. And then of course I gained weight in a healthy way because I was also listening to my body needs and to what I was feeling in the moment. If I wanted some chocolate, I just got the chocolate without even thinking about weighting it and seeing how many calories and fat it had. This change was not easy for me. It took me two years uh, to get away from all these thoughts of control everything I was eating. For two years, I was counting every single calorie and I was uh, starving myself sometimes just in order to stay in that amount of calories I set before in the app. So after two years I realized that that was wrong, that was a really wrong behavior and that I wanted to change. I started gaining weight and then the period came back and I have the feeling that if you don't have any health issues, uh, usually especially for dancers, uh, the only reason why your period can miss is because your body enters in a state where he wants to save energies to keep you alive. So basically, he cuts away all the unnecessary things which uh, need energies from you. Uh, and period is the first, because it's not as necessary as digestion, for example, uh, which is, of course, like a very important thing in your body and it should happen and has to happen every single day. The fact that your period is missing means that your body is trying to save energies from that. So the only way for you to get it back is to actually eat more and to give your body all the energies and nutrients it needs. If you're struggling with amenorrhea then I really recommend you to check if your relationship with the food is actually healthy because that's the most common uh, reason why it usually happens. And of course don't be scared of gaining one or two kilograms uh, because Probably you will not even notice that in the mirror, but for sure it's going to be a big change for your body and for your health. It does not mean that you don't have to be fit anymore. One more thing that was really scaring me was that I was looking on YouTube or Instagram about uh, recommendations for how to get your period back. And there were many, many people saying that you should stop training and you should stop doing apps and you should stop really moving. And for me, it was so scary because I was like, okay, I'm a dancer, so I basically move and train every single day. So I had a feeling that uh, I could have never had my period back for that reason, because I could never stop dancing, you know, it was my profession. But then I realized that there is a way in between, and that way in between is called health, which means that you can still train, you can still be a professional dancer, you can still train for seven hours straight during the day, uh, but then it doesn't mean that you will miss your period because if you eat healthy and you eat enough uh, you can have both you can have your period and you can have your strength and your muscles and your power and your dancing i really hope my story was helpful for you uh, please if you have some questions leave them in the comments down below and i will be happy to answer you but of course first thing first please ask your doctor if you have some problems with your period or with your health in general I remind you again to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss the next videos and to give me a thumb up to support me. See you very soon. Bye.